In honor of Women's History Month, I wanted to highlight a virtual event happening Saturday morning called Resilient Women Leaders Conference 2021, featuring some truly inspiring women from across the country who are strong leaders in the world of first responders, but who can teach every single one of us how to be our own superhero. So I asked the speakers of this conference the question, what does resiliency mean to you? Here's what they had to say. So here's the deal is, um, resiliency doesn't just happen. Resilience to me in, in my life has meant to keep going. So a lot of times we just think of resiliency as the ability to bounce back. And in order to be resilient, you have to put in time, you have to put in training, you have to put in recovery. Resilience to me means the ability to define yourself and your own life after any type of adversity. But we have to use those tools once we get into adversity. And then once we're there, we need to we need to learn the lessons from that adversity so we can become a little bit wiser and a little bit more uh, uh, prepared for the rest of our lives. You know, what part of my story built me and gave me that post-traumatic growth? What part did I learn from to become stronger and better? And that's really, to me, where the heart of resiliency is. And this Saturday is an opportunity to join these five women and take a personal step forward towards resiliency by learning tools of how to take care of ourselves and one another. Because after such a stressful year, we deserve it. First of all, you are worthy. Like You are worth the work. By um, having some courage and bravery, you can step into any role you can imagine for yourself. You are only limited by how you perceive yourself. And these incredible women leading this conference are either first responders themselves or have dedicated their lives to helping first responders thrive. Bringing all these women leaders together is Yoga for First Responders founder and CEO Olivia Mead, who cultivated her one-of-a-kind company while living in Des Moines, and now is seeing how yoga is benefiting first responders across the U.S. So when I came to Des Moines and I offered this, it was adopted immediately. And due to the very first department that I taught for in Iowa was Carlisle Fire Department. It was a volunteer small fire department that was like, yes, I we need this. And now the tools that are used for first responders in high stress situations can be applied in our everyday lives. So you have to have the tools and the techniques and the practices to take adversity and take stress, which is just part of life. It's a definition of life. Take that in, take the tools and techniques that you practice consistently and turn that into resilience. Be inspired by these amazing women to take that first baby step towards learning the tools necessary so you can succeed in whatever your next goal in life may be. Baby steps are just fine. <laughs> That's how all of us start. And I think that if we can be okay with that, it's a baby step. It's little, it's, it's this much I can do. And if you can give yourself the grace to say, and right now, that's enough. Now, these resilient women leaders are already defying the odds when you consider only 8% of firefighters in the U.S. are female, 12.6% of all police officers are female, and they are strong women that are also mothers, mm -hmm. daughters, uh, wives, business owners, authors that want to inspire and educate. Plus, you're going to have a special guest, Yoga for First Responders instructor Wendy Hummel, who is a retired detective with 24 years in law enforcement. She's going to be teaching some yoga as well. So this is going to be an incredible conference you still have time to sign up yffr.yoga that can be your next step to be inspired to greatness we're also going to have a link on our website and you will be emceeing this event virtually of course but uh, i'm really excited to be a part of that i can't wait uh just by interviewing these ladies yeah. i already felt empowered